Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Lia Apriliani My NPM is 18-21-22-072 And in this occasion, now I would like to share some information about one of favorite destination especially in the Banjar City namely Situ Mustika Check it out! This destination offers a cool, calm atmosphere and beautiful and calm panoramic in the middle of the city. There is a small island in the middle of Situ and a suspension bridge connect the island to the edge of Situ. This destination is located on the southern Trans Java Road and can be approached from three directions from the city of Chiamis with a travel time of about 30 minutes from the direction of central Jepa of about 20 minutes from the provincial boundary while from Pangandaran use the general Swartor route before arriving at Parung Sari is around 2 hours Situ Mustika was built in the 1950 to fulfill the water needs of the surrounding community and the Banjar General Hospital for the first in the decade 1950 until 1962 this place become a local tourist attraction for resident of Banjar Patroman in 1965 Situ Mustika was controlled by PTI or PKI because they receive support from SB Forestry or SOBSE at the time. After the PKI movement, the position of the BTI or PKI become pressured. In 1966, the C2 complex was controlled by the authorities and then handed over to the forestry Chiamis. In 1985, Situ Mustika was officially made a tourist attraction by Perum Perhutani or Perhutani Corporation. At the end of December 2018, Situ Mustika's new face was in a great the name was changed to Mustika Taman Anggrek. This is because now the tourist attraction is equipped with a garden decorated by hundreds of species of orchid. Not only that, the tourist area will be built honey park. Various types of honey and the process of making honey will be shown in this place. For the cultural, every year in Situ Mustika are performed Ngarumat Mustika activities. In this event, always performing of local arts such as Chalung, Reo, Ketoprak, Ronggeng Gunung, and Kuda Lumping. In this annual activity, was attended by artists, local society, government, and cultural figures from outside Banjar City. Most people here use Sundanese language because it's their culture, but not a few of them also can use Japanese because tourists on this destination also come from outside of West Java. Banjar itself has a motto Somahna Bagja Dibuana which is means the physically and mentally happy society. This destination is open from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Entrance ticket to this tourism object is 15,000 per person on weekdays 
and 20,000 per person on holidays. There are many facilities that is over, such as water games ride or we can call it speedboat, rainbow bridge, which is connect to the other island, ride balloon palace, especially for children. To build togetherness with family, the tourists can use tree house. Then there is wooden swings and some selfie spot. Don't be afraid if we are star vision because in Situ Mustika there is also a culinary area that serve a variety of foods and drinks with a cheap price. Other facility to Muslim people is available. The prayer room, complete with prayer tools such as mukna, sajudah, and sarung, also several toilets and gazebo to look for. In Pulo, there is one gazebo that can be used to accommodate 10 until 15 people. Another important thing is there's white parking place. Situ Mustika is still natural and is surrounded by protected forests. The air is still cool because there are a lot of trees around the area. There are many tourists which spend time in this place with seeing the beautiful of the natural scenery of the lake, mixed plain forest sitting relaxed on the island in the middle of the lake a walk around the lake a picnic hiking putting as i mentioned before and fishing situ musica is commonly used for outbound activities and educational activities or research and other activities such as reunions and pray Situ Mustika has long been known as a camping ground. Their scout groups, students, and nature lovers use their annual agenda because this ecotourism has a strategic location and has sufficient condition for activities. In the west, there is seen the peak of Mount Babakan. The site can attract tourists who want to find peace from their busy schedule. In the middle of Situ, there is an island. Sometimes it used by hobby gatherings such as roder clubs, mountain bikes groups. In the holiday or Eid al fitr this place is favorite to gathering family reunion to do events together. The weekly agenda at Situ is we seeing the fishing enthusiasts come from several cities like Banjar, Ciamis, Garut, and so on. Wow! It sounds interesting, right? By the way, thanks for watching and I'm sorry if I have made many mistakes. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.